What is up guys, welcome back to Cube Brick. Today marks the start of a new building series on my channel and it's not going to be just a regular build. Not only the theme is something completely new for me, but also my mock will be a part of a collaborative build with my lagmates from Zbuduimeto. But before we start I want to apologize for my voice since I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but I figure I can't wait anymore to show you guys what will be happening on the channel for the next two months. So what are we going to talk about today? Well you already know looking at the video title and the figures I'm showing you right now, the mock is going to be Middle Eastern themed and the setting will be in the medieval times. Today we're going to talk about the overall plan of the collab, what my part in it will be, we'll check out the minifigure selection I made for this build and I'll show you what I've already started building and how do I envision the whole build to look like. And of course I want to show you the reason why I was waiting nearly a month since the last building series, the LEGO project support haul which arrived just a few days ago. So guys, without any further ado, let's dive into the plan. The whole idea of the collab is that we are building a Middle Eastern street that will span across multiple base plates, but only two in depth. Each participant will build the front base plate as a part of a road going all across the collab, and the back base plate will be the building. There are going to be three main areas of the build. The savannah in front of the city, the poor district, and the wealthy people's district and they all are going to be divided by a wall with an entry gate. So the whole build will be a very long yet a narrow one with a lot of diversity in not only building types but also in the style of building. And my mock will be in the center of the rich people's district and showing a Middle Eastern mosque. It will not be an easy task to stand out from all the rich people's houses that others will be building but who doesn't like a little challenge? But before I'll show you what I've already started, and how do I see the build itself, let's talk about the figures I've assembled. The main hero of the story will be the Sultan that will be accompanied by his two sons. I think that the Sultan really stand out from all the figures, distinguished with his clothes and headwear, showing he is probably the most wealthy of the bunch. Next in line is the old prophet whose duty is to look after the mosque and teach all the visitors the good ways. And the one responsible for keeping order is of course the guard. The guard is based on a mutual concept that will be kept all across the collab. I will probably add one or two more, but for that I need to order a few parts. And besides them, the mosque and the street in front of it will be occupied by all sorts of citizens, travelers and merchants, both male and female. I tried to make the figs as much relevant to the theme as possible using many Jedi robes, parts from different CMF series and all wearing appropriate headgear to fit the Middle Eastern theme. I think that they all turned out great, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments how do you like the fig selection, but now let's jump into the build itself. So my build will be 2x2 base plates, so that the mask will be bigger than the average household surrounding it. The front base plates are of course reserved for the street, but I placed a part of the courtyard overlapping the street to make it look more presentable. The courtyard is elevated by a few steps and will be fully decorated by a colorful mosaic. For starters I made a simple one with white and turquoise one by one tiles, but going deeper I plan to change the pattern just to make it as much diversified as possible. At the front of the courtyard there will be two minarets, which are decorative towers that meant to stand out in the city and invite people to come and pray. I've started making a draft of one of those, but it's by all means not the final version. I plan to make them a little bigger and the top will be finished by a cone roof, for which I already have a nice idea, just need to order a few parts. For now it looks more like a lightsaber than what it's supposed to be looking. Now going deeper, the courtyard will be at least twice as big as it is now, with a fountain in the middle. And the whole courtyard will be surrounded by colesters from three sides. Well, at least I think that is what you call those hollow aisles with arches going all the way. 
If I'm wrong and you happen to be an expert in Middle Eastern architecture, please correct me in the comments. Anyway, the courtyard will be surrounded from three sides and in the middle there will be a massive entry with a decorated door leading to the inside of the mosque. Unfortunately, this build will not include an interior because of the lack of space, but it will be made solid from the outside with a big dome roof and lots and lots of details and mosaics all around the build. But to build all of that, I need parts. A lot of parts. And since the LEGO group is kind enough to help out Big Luck collaborative builds, let's see what I bought for this monk. There are so much parts in this hull that I think I won't talk about every single part in this video because it would take too much time. But here are the types of bricks that I'll be using. So let's start with the bricks. From 1x1, one one, through 1x2 one and 1x3, one all the way to 1x4. Some different masonry bricks. And of course some filler. I also got some modified bricks with stats on sides, a few round ones, and a varied selection of curved bricks and arches that will be a key element for decorations. Next in line are plates, again spanning from 1x1, one 1x2 by one, one by in different colors, 1x3, and even some 2x4 and a few bigger ones like the 2x8, 4x8 and 6x6 for support. Oh, and there are also some modified plates, jumpers and a bunch of studs. For decorating and adding details, I've got a lot of different colored tiles in different sizes and even some cheese slopes and a few curved ones as well. I also got some modified plates, wedges, and of course a lot of plant pieces to build palm trees surrounding the mosque. And last but not least, I got some various decorative parts that will help me get that nice finishing touch to the mock. Oh man, that's a lot of bricks. I will probably not use every single one of those, but don't worry, they won't go to waste as I have a lot of building ideas in my head and will use the parts when the time comes. As for the timing, the build needs to be finished at the beginning of December because that is when we will display the collab on Hobby Fair in Poznan. So the time is limited, but I should manage to get it done in time. Who needs sleep, right? So, what do you guys think about all the stuff you saw here today? Do you like the theme of the build and my vision of the mosque I'll be building? Let me know in the comment section below and if you have some ideas what also I could incorporate into the mock, please write them down as well. I'm still planning it out in my head so any help is much appreciated. I will hopefully see you guys in the next episode of this series, but until then remember to stay safe and keep it bricking.